yes, I got the um, I got the add-on, and what they've done is um, reset your truck to your home place. So let's check the world map. Okay, so we are in Birmingham, and look at that lovely area there. So we got the whole of Poland, uh, going to Budapest, all the way up to uh, Dank Dansk. Yep, yeah, Warsaw. So we've got all this to uh, to check out and see how beautiful this country is. So, yeah, we need to get over there as quick as possible. And um, unfortunately, there isn't a nice, a nice long drive that we can go all the way across. But to celebrate this uh, expansion, I think we're gonna I'm gonna do a big sesh and see if we can get down to sort of Germany, and then we will go over into Poland. So that's that's the plan. Um. Where are we? Okay. Well, let's uh, let's check the job market and see see what uh, see what's about. Whoa, sixty three grand. Oh, that'd be lovely, that wouldn't it? Six hundred and fifty nine miles. We're in Birmingham. Yeah, that. Ah, oh, would it take me twenty one hours to get to? Amsterdam. If we got anything in Birmingham around Amsterdam, I want to pick up that job. Um, New no. Sheffield, Liverpool, Grimsby, Duisburg, some big heavy tyres, Hanover. Oh, Calais. And then we can just take a trip to. Was it Calais we needed to be in? Amsterdam, yeah, Amsterdam. There we go. Let's have a look. Hmm, we've never been to Lille, so I think we're going to go Lille. It's not very good money though. That's a trouble. Like thirty-six pound a mile, and up here we got like forty-five pound a mile carrying a tank. We carried a tank once, didn't we? Did we carry a tank or did I crash? I can't remember now. We don't want to go north. We want to kind of go east. Um. Oh. Can't see any jobs from Lil. Oh, decisions. Whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna make the wrong decision. I know it. Um. Yeah, we're gonna go to Lille. We've never been there before, so let's uh, set this baby. Loading screen. Oh, there we go. As you can see, this is the first time I logged in. Let's <laughs> take a drink. My throat's been a bit dry today. Let's start this baby up. Yeah. There's our. Uh, our lovely uh, offices. Right, let's turn around. Do we need to sleep? I might be on idea. If we sleep, we uh, we might be able to pick up a Poland job. No, nope, we can't sleep. <laughs> I don't even know if we need to sleep yet, but never mind. So apparently, yes, the Go East. They've uh, they've put a load of new cars in. They've upgraded, up, updated some of the graphics. Whoa, where's my lights? Ah. Oh sure. Oh, it's reset everything, hasn't it? Hang on. Is it F4? My beacons are not even on. My front auxiliary is not on. My roof auxiliary is not on. How dare they? There we go. I can see. I thought something was a bit off. I, I, I thought something was a bit weird. Oh god. Yeah, my truck is acting very strange at the moment. I don't know. It feels a lot smoother. Maybe that's why I crashed. <laughs> Just not used to it being that smooth. Still got that crazy braking thing going on. That these um. Whoa. 
Oh, jeez, what is wrong? <laughs> Have they made it harder? Oh, this is going to be a long episode, peeps. I'm not gonna... What? Can I repair my truck here? I don't... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, this is uh, this is worrying me a little bit. The sat nav clearly states, oh, in here. <laughs> I just turned in the wrong. Okay, back to. <laughs> I haven't played this game very much. It's only been fifty odd episodes. What do you expect? All right, we're gonna go that one. Something definitely has changed in this game. I've, I've never been this derpy before. Um, well, I kind of have, but uh, not right at the start. <laughs> so it looks like we're taking some FedEx oh, refrigerated uh, trailer. I think it's uh, fish or something, probably. No, something's changed. Something's really different about this. I don't know what's going on. Okay. We've attached the trailer. Pick of you! Go east! I think the graphics have changed a bit. It, I, I don't know yet what is different. Uh, I'm sure someone's going to tell me. It, it does seem a lot smoother, it's running really well on my computer. Maybe that's... I don't know. I'm getting... loads of frames a second. But... okay. Let's make it out of here. Or no more crashing now. We just can't afford to uh, have any more crashes because... we've got next to no money anyway. Engine. <laughs> what? Well, it looks like we're going to have to stop at the engine place to uh, get a service and repair. Maybe maybe that. Whoa! Have they made the road shorter? <laughs> this is a great. This is going to be the worst start to a video I've ever done. I'm not showcasing this game very well right now, but it is it's awesome. Go out and buy it. Definitely get the uh the DLC. Oh wow. I don't know whether the road the roads are cut I don't know whether they're smaller or I don't know, they might not have changed anything, it might be just me. Something really different. Yeah, we need to go uh, repair over there. We can hear a train go past, I think. Come on, there's no cars. What time is it? It's uh, midnight. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> that's reverse. What? <laughs> God. Oh. I used to be good at this game. I 
I can't believe I'm getting my reverses and my uh, forwards all mixed up. Okay, we've got to serve it. Oh, this is going to cost us a fortune. 15 grand. Well, we've got to do it. Oh, we've got less money than I thought. Let's just get over to uh, to Lil, and then we can um, start making our way. Oh, what? Oh, that was pretty cool. I, I enjoyed that. Okay, so let's get over there and let's start going east. Oh, Ricard, wait. Oh, looks like they might have improved the AI. I'm sure if a, a red car had the chance to plow into me then, and it didn't. Hmm. Strange. But anyway, peeps, how are you? We're on the road. I can't hopefully do more damage than I've done. Um, I I am on the edge of my seat at the moment. I, I don't think I've ever concentrated so horribly in this game than I am at the moment. Oh, I'm so pleased and so happy to have this Go East expansion pack. And I, I just want to showcase it off and I want to show everybody, but I, for some reason I'm playing like a douchebag at the moment. But uh, I hope to do it justice. I'm surprised that all the mods are working still. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, no more crashes. Okay. Wow. I'm. Uh, oh, wrong button. I am so nervous right now. <laughs> Which is daft because I'm playing a truck simulating game, but uh Oh, yeah, you can see the uh realistic physics mod working then. As I was uh, sort of jumping across the road. Let's get in the middle lane. Let's hog the middle lane. Going towards London. Yes, I will be going uh, to London very soon. On uh, what? Yeah, Saturday, Saturday, twenty eighth of September. I'll be in London at Eurogamer. So if you're going, please come and say hi. You, you probably won't miss me. <laughs> I've got a massive uh, rugby top saying "stuck a gloss" all over it, so uh, you'll know it's me. Let's get in here. Have I got enough fuel? Where's my fuel gauge? Yep. <coughs> We're okay. Thankfully, uh, uh, hopefully, should I say, not thankfully, hopefully that's the uh, end of our problems. <laughs> oh. <coughs> yes, uh, Dur Tebbers and uh, Das Tebbers are uh, making their way over to uh, the UK. So I look forward to uh, hooking up with them at the weekend. Uh, the forum, if you haven't joined the forum yet, please do. There's a link in the description. Uh, we've got the website. is uh, is uh, under construction at the moment, but um, I've got some big big plans for that. And uh, kind of get out your game right the way, and then uh, we'll see uh, we'll see some changes to the website. <coughs> all for the best. And uh, I look forward to uh, talking to you all on there. Oh great. I'm on the motorway, how can I get a speed in fine? Heading towards London. Uh this way. Oh, 
we're going to go on the M. Oh, the M1. Okay. Come on then. Up you go. Come on then, you Bobby. Come on. Come on then. Come on. It's a shame it's a night, uh, a night drive. I think I prefer driving during the day. You know, th these developers, you know, the SES have made um, this game look so pretty during the day. It's kind of a shame that we're driving at night. But uh, I was toying with the idea of just doing this off screen, um, getting over to uh, the east, you know, and, and starting off this series um, in Poland. But. I kind of want to show the show the journey over there, you know. Like you guys have followed me, you've you've literally seen me do every single uh, journey, and uh, I, I kind of didn't want that to stop because, you know, this is uh, yeah, you know, we're, we're building up um, our company here, you know, and, and you guys are coming along for the drive with me, so I th I just didn't think it was fair, so that's my reasons for it. But we'll get over there fairly soon. I'll try and uh, I'll try and upload one or two of these this week. We'll get over there. We'll be in the east, I promise. We'll be in Poland. <sighs> oh, you're joking! Give me a break. <laughs> oh. If it's not like I smashed my truck up, literally just um, by myself with no trailer on. You know, it, it's probably harder to crash with a trailer than not a trailer. Um, the engine's malfunctioning, so I had to get that fixed, and now I'm tired. Uh, services half a mile. I might wait to the next services. Although, if he carries on yawning, then I'm going to start yawning. I can feel myself yawning already, so. Uh oh. There <sighs> we go. That infectious yawn. <laughs> Ooh, it's a bit wobbly. It's a bit nervous when a car undertakes me like that. I shouldn't be in the middle lane, I know. Alright, let's go into the services. <sighs> oh, what's this? Ebb oil. I haven't seen that one before. Where do I park? Might as well fill up as we're here. Okay, E, enter. How much are you paying? £1.27 a litre. That's not too bad for diesel. There's a lot of people who pay that every day. I don't know whether it will or not, but there's a lot of talk about it going, you know, soon it would be like £2 a litre. That's just nuts, isn't it? When I started driving um, petrol, you know, when I was uh, a lot younger, we had, um, I think it was 70p, 60 something p a litre petrol. Ah, there we go, it's daytime. Lovely. And, uh, yeah, and it's like nearly tripled in price. Which is, uh, well, not, no, it's not nearly triple, it's well over double. Oh, you could have just moved over for me, ignorant toad. Right, we're on our way, peeps. No more drama. We got a full tank of gas. We've just had a rest. The beacons are going, and I think I've worked out how to use my controller. There's a speed camera. I see. Ya. I quite like this trailer with the big FedEx on the back, on the uh, on the back. Isn't FedEx like an American company? I don't know. I, I kind of associate FedEx with uh, America for some reason. I think it's because some of the adverts or no, the films, isn't it? You always see like a FedEx guy. It's FedEx or UPS, isn't it, that you see in America? Ah, talking about America, I've been looking at. Um, I've been looking at uh, websites and getting some prices up together for next year. My tour of America. Well, I say tour. There's only really 
two places on on my stop list. <laughs> I haven't really added to it yet. That's New York and Chicago. I'd like to go to those two. I think everyone's like, oh, why are you going to New York for? New York's rubbish. I know Dura's not a big fan of New York, but I don't know. I, I, I just want to experience it, you know? New York City is like nothing in in England or the UK. Uh, you know, we've got our big cities, we've got London, we've got, you know, Leeds and Birmingham, Bristol, Glasgow, Edinburgh, Dublin. We've got our big cities, but th nothing compared to what New York's got. So, uh, I'll, I'll be looking forward to uh, taking a trip to see it and experience it. And try those amazing hot dogs. <laughs> It seems that everybody eats hot dogs in uh, New York. I'm sorry if you can hear the dog. She's been very vocal today. I kind of told her off a little. Well, I didn't tell her off. How can you tell a dog off? But uh, I was eating my tea. And she she was like resting on my legs while I was eating my tea. And I don't like that. It's like she's begging for me to give her something. And I've, me and the wife and our friends, family, have never ever given our dog um, human food. So, where she gets the idea to beg for food, I, I don't know. We've never done it. Well, I don't think we have. Unless the wife has been giving her sly pieces of meat under the table or something, but I'm sure she would tell me. But yeah, so we, we had a bit of an argument. You know, uh, we uh, didn't talk for a few hours and uh, and now she's really vocal. It's like she's, she's wanting my attention. So if you can hear her, I apologise. Well, what else has been happening this week? Yeah, sorry about the videos not being uploaded as often as um, I want. It's just, obviously, I've started a new job. Uh, I don't know if people are aware of that, but I've started a new job, and it's just taking me a bit of time to settle in. Uh, you know, I'm sure you guys can appreciate what it's like. You know, you've you got things to, <laughs> you got things to learn, and... and you know the time and stuff like that so it's not that I haven't wanted to upload it's just I haven't had the time unfortunately but it will settle down uh, and I will get into a routine as I promised before um, so please bear with me uh, I've also decided to start this as a new series um, I think 51 episodes in the first series um, that's pretty good going. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of videos of uh, Euro Truck. So now the uh, they got the Go East DLC expansion pack, whatever you want to call it, is out. I thought we'd, we'd do a new series. So you know, the series is really my goal for this series is to get over in the east and maybe open up another office or garage in uh, in Warsaw or somewhere in Poland. So that's my plan. But look at the reflec the reflection of the um, the visor. Can you see the white line? I just love little touches like that. I just absolutely like they didn't have to put that in. They didn't have to have it. And and if they didn't have it, you wouldn't think any less of it. But because they put it in, it just oh, awesome. Sorry, bit of a bit of a SCS fanboy I am. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I can't wait to showcase the uh, the, the Polish countryside, peeps. This is this is awesome and and the, th and the good thing is they can expand it as well you know so the peeps have been working really really hard on the uh, on the Go East expansion you know and they're going to go south in, and, and do the whole of Italy um, and uh, go north you know Denmark and Sweden and that's cool they could even go as far as uh, you know getting over to Russia and, and, and China you know go proper east <laughs> um, you never know Euro Truck Simulator 2 uh, what have I done you never know Euro Truck Simulator 2 might um, take over the world you know eventually you might be able to drive all around the world and people are saying no you can't because there's oceans but apparently at a certain time of year you can drive around the world I know pretty cool I think I, I I feel more relaxed now that I'm moving 
and I haven't crashed for five minutes <laughs> than I was at the start of this video. I don't know if you noticed it, but I was uh, panicking a little bit. Oh my god, the new DLC is out and I can't even get the truck to go forward without crashing. But anyway, we're coming up to uh, Dover soon. M25. Like the M25 doesn't bother me because I don't need to go on it. But I know there's a lot of people that use it every day, and uh, they don't they don't like it. But like the way I well, the way I see it, the M25, if you don't know, is a, like a a massive ring around London. It's a motorway network, three or four lanes. I can't remember if it's four or three. I think in some places it might be four, but say three lanes of uh, motorway, a ring around London, so it basically takes all the traffic out of London. Now that's a good thing, isn't it? Now, if the M25 is really busy, then that's a good thing for the people living in London, because it means all that traffic isn't going through London. And I can't imagine that going on the motorway is slower than going through London with all that amount of people. So it must be doing something right. But uh, I, I've never myself uh, been stuck in any traffic on the M25, I don't think. So, uh, yeah, touch wood. Yeah, they, they have, they've added new AI cars, I think. Ooh. I, I really want to look around. It, it feels like a new game to me. It feels... It feels smoother. It feels nicer. It's, uh, I, I, they probably haven't done anything to it. It's just that I'm really excited. You know, I've, I've literally just, just bought the DLC and... and uh, Sort of jumped in my truck and crashed and had to service it and stuff, but I'm uh, yeah, I'm really psyched about this uh, expansion pack. I hate that. I hate that so much. In real life, have you have you ever done that? Right, you got to overtake somebody and then they speed up. <sighs> you all agree with me now. <coughs> Terrible, and it had to be a red car. Maybe that's the new, the new AI thing. You know, maybe SES have have written into uh, you know red AI cars now. They're not just out to get us, but they're out to give us road rage. <laughs> you just ram the truck into the red car. Urgh, how dare you speed up? Yeah, I don't get road rage. Hang on, that's not exactly strictly true. I got road rage once and that was because I'm not you know, when people let people out at a junction I think there should be a limit. I can't stand people who let people out of a junction like three or four cars you know and they're keeping us held back. So imagine you know you're coming up to uh, a crossroads and somebody is trying to turn left. Basically, he just stops in the middle of the road, traffic's backing up, and then he's just letting all these cars go through, you know? Oh, one limit, just once. So if 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 you're that guy, please, 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 or girl, please, 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 just do one. Let one car through. You know, you, you've done your good deed. Everybody's like, oh, yeah, he's a nice guy, or girl. Just do the one. Don't, don't let more than one out, okay? That's like the stock of gloss golden rule of um, driving, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, I, I do get a little bit of road rage on that. That sounds really bad, doesn't it? See what this car's doing now? Don't ever do it. Don't. Oh, I'm glad he stopped. Look at him. Don't ever do that. That's so naughty. The other car, the guy in the mini behind him, is really cussing him now. And I took that corner like a boss. Wom wom. God, the turbo's really loud on this thing. Oh. Whoa! The, 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 what? I did not get fined for that. It's the white cars. 
That was not my fault then. Ah. Oh. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I get I'll probably get more road rage playing this game. Oh, and now he's overtaking me. You're like, nah, 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 nah. I just crashed into you now. I'm overtaking you. It's because I made a nice comment about myself, wasn't it? About how pro I was at taking that corner. You know, something bad had to happen to me. Oh, we are going a bit quick, aren't we? Turn him right to you, yep. Going towards Southampton. Have I gone the wrong way? Well, unless I'm going to Southampton docks, then I'm not going the wrong way. Truck, what are you doing? Oh, see, they were blatantly out to get me then. <sighs> Thank you, mate. Did you see that? SES, I take back everything about the red trucks. You're still out to get me. The AI is still out to get me. But they've added white cars as well. Oh well. Right, it looks like we're coming up to the docks or the train. I think that's the. Uh, yeah, the train. I do love the rumble strips. I think um, they've added an option to, to untick the rumble strips if it gets uh, too annoying. But even as, as much as it is really annoying, I don't want to turn it off because I, I just love the idea that you got rumble strips. Right, so here comes the channel tunnel. One of these we can, can't turn, not that one. Can we turn that one? No. Can we turn that one? Yes. Uh oh. Okay. Here we come, train. Ready or not. Oh yeah. You have mail. Enter. <laughs> that was good parking. So where do we want to go? We want to go Calais. Okay, let's go. I just realised that we're minus three grand. I was I was worried then it was going to say, uh uh, no, you can't travel. You haven't got enough money. You can't afford the ticket. Our bank manager's given us a bit of a loan, I think. Yeah, so that job that we've seen at the start, you know, where you travel from, uh, where is it, Hamburg or somewhere to uh, to Warsaw, which is like six, was it 60 grand? Yeah, we need a couple of them. Now we've got to remember we're going to be driving on the wrong side of the road. When I say we, I mean me. I do like the way that they force you to drive on the wrong side of the road. You know when you come come into France, all the arrows, you know, they, which is right really, because it's quite easy to forget. 
to drive on the wrong side of the road. It's just like a natural. But I know, I know, there's far more people <laughs> driving on the uh, wrong side of the road than on the right side of the road. But driving on the right side of the road just seems more natural to me. And I don't want to get in that debate. I don't. I, I, I really, really, really don't. Probably wearing out my brakes. Whoa, whoa! Remember, right side of the road. Whoops. Oh, every car in France is going to come past now, so I can't. Come on, bus. Thank you. Oh, there's another bus. The wheels on the bus go right. How many of you finished that uh, that little song then? I bet all of you did. Right, wait, car, wait. Thank you very much. Appreciate it a lot. Thank you. These roads seem narrower for some reason. Oh, great. Hey, the hell am I supposed to get right there? I'm going to let him go. Whoa, what are you doing, dude? I have more mail. He took that really well. Bless him. Yeah, I'm not going now. That <laughs> lets everybody out. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. Yeah. Check it out. Hey, look at the skills, eh? You can't touch these skills. No, we're joking. I, I need, I need to stop. Remember not to, uh, you know, say how great I am because something pretty bad happens every time. Come on, go. Oh gosh. Oh, I have seen that sign as well. That sign's real. Uh, as in you do see those signs on the on the French roads. Are we going to Yeah, we're going to Lille, aren't we? Which is Lille, I think. But it's Lille. But I think uh, Lily sounds nicer, doesn't it? You know, like Lily Pad. Um, you know, old Aunt Lil. <laughs> yeah. All right, 90 kilometres an hour. Which is around about f 60, probably. Harry, oh, ha, ha. I've got a terrible French accent. I think um, I took French at school, but the trouble is, it's such a long time ago. And then, when you really want to use French, you you kind of forgotten everything. And um, for me, anyway, I think learning French at school in a nice, controlled manner, um, a slow, <laughs> controlled manner. It's totally different than going to France and then and, and, and listening you know, to somebody speak French. They speak really, really fast. But I suppose we're the same, aren't we? You know, like people, you, you, you come over here, you, you, uh, it's not, you know, English is not their uh, native tongue. They come over here, we've got all the slang words we've got. And we, um, some of us speak really, really fast as well. So I suppose it's, uh, it's pretty much exactly the same. I was... Um, <laughs> Some of you might think I'm nasty, but I was winding. Um, uh, I was winding Das up. I was sending her a load of um, English slang words that she had to learn before she came over to England. <laughs> so she's like, "Oh my gosh, I've got to learn all these." I was like, "Yep, as a bare minimum." She doesn't have to. 
Apple and pear. Uh, was it skin and blister? Is your sister? Oh, another FedEx that uh, trailer that went past. Oh, there's so many. But yeah, every day we don't really use those sorts of slang. Maybe maybe down in London, you know, some proper Cockney slang. But um, probably not so much here. I'll just turn my volume down on my headset. It feels weird. There we go. Do, do, do. We're driving in France. Yes, I'm in a good mood. And why shouldn't I? It's really hot here in the UK at the moment. Now, we don't normally get a summer. It, you know, our summer normally consists of uh, rain, with a bit more rain, bit of wind, and a bit more rain. But um, things are like being really hotting up here. And when I say hot, I mean, you know, it's getting up to like 22 degrees. You know, which is bacon. No, it's, it's, not, it's not that hot, but it feels hot because we're just not used to it. Like 22 degrees is, uh, I think, no, it's 24 earlier. Yeah, 24 degrees, that's, that's kind of warm. Oh, look at me remembering I'm in France. Yeah! Right, hopefully we're not going to go back to the UK for a long time. We're going to keep going east. And we're going to go check out Poland. That's the plan. Lily discovered. Awesome. Oh, McDonald's. What if uh, Ronald McDonald is working? Um. Oh, and if you're wondering about my mods and what mods I'm using, then uh, I'm going to put a link in the description for you. And that'll be uh, from my Dropbox folder. So you guys can um, basically download the exact mods I'm using, or you can pick and choose which are the best mods, which are the mods you don't like. Um, now I've done this on my farming simulator videos as well. Uh, I'm going to have a go at doing that. Oh, uh, wrong way, wrong way, wrong Oh, close enough. So, <laughs> job completed. Only good work. Yeah, because somebody hit us. That wasn't my fault. But anyway, we've driven uh, 300 miles. It's taken us 16 hours. We consumed a bit of fuel. And we leveled up by the looks of it. We are level 18 professional, baby. Uh, what are we going to do? Well, only the long distance. You know, I think that's where the money is. Let's get into long distance, shall we? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. What happened there? Nope, stop. Have I still got this trailer attached to me? No. Okay. There we go. Let's have a look. Oh, we've got some emails. Let's check them out first. Oh, yeah, my account's overdrawn. Oh, my, my account's settled. Oh, brilliant. Thank you. Um, Job market. I just want to see if we can get to Poland for my next job. So, Lily. Nuremberg. Oh, no, we're gonna get to check. Darn it. We can go to the Nuremberg. I suppose that's, uh, that's on the way, isn't it? It's anywhere close, like Brussels. No. Paris. Luxembourg. No. I'm just looking to get a, a, like a real long one to uh, 
Rotterdam, Verona, Amsterdam. Yeah, there we go. That's the that's what we want, isn't it? We've already been to Poznan, but that was the furthest we can go. Basically, that line there couldn't go any more east, and now we can go east. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so what I was saying about south, you know, we can go right down Italy, we can go up here, uh, when we get the north pack, and maybe we can get the rest of France sorted out as well, that'd be pretty cool. So, uh, do I drive to Netherlands now? Uh, yeah, Amsterdam, how long will that take me? When's that run out? Offer expires in four hours. We're not going to make it, are we? But there is another one to Poland. I don't know. We'll see you in the next uh, next episode. What I might do then is just go to go to Nuremberg. We've we been to Nuremberg before. We have Hamburg. Anything? Hamburg going to Poland? Oh, where's that? Oh, okay, that's new. Yeah, I think we might head up. Oh, we've been to Hamburg, haven't we? Come on, Stockholm, let's go somewhere we haven't been. Zurich, yep. Sheffield, I'm not going that way. Swansea, not going that way. Felixstowe, I'm not going that way either. Right. We'll decide in our next episode. So thank you very much for watching. My name is Stocker Gloss. This is Euro Truck Simulator 2 with the uh, Go East add on. So I hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Please leave your likes and your comments. It really does help as this is a new series. Uh, Please keep smashing that like button. Very much appreciated. Take care and ciao for now.